Good evening. Results of a national study are shocking both parents and lawmakers. It says 17% of high school girls in Indiana say they've been raped. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers looked at the data from the Centers for Disease Control. So, Aaron, what did you find out? Mark and Heather, I found out that this has been a problem for a few years. It's gotten better, but the numbers are still high. And now Indiana hopes to change the trend. It's very disturbing, and, and we need to continue to make sure that our students are as safe as possible. Representative Bob Morris says lawmakers don't go back in session until January, but they're going to make reducing that statistic a priority. Make sure that the schools are, are, uh, are fully aware of the situation and what's happened and that, that law enforcement is made aware also of the crime that was committed. In 2009, more than 17 percent of high school age girls in Indiana reported that they'd been raped. In 2011, that dropped down to nearly 10 percent. The problem is getting better, but it's still one that people who work with teen or child victims say is too high. We've seen an increase in the number of children that we interview. Beth Bebe works at the Lewis Center, which provides a safe interview space for children who have been abused or assaulted. She says they've had an increase of more than 200 interviews this year, and by the end of the year are expected to see around 650 children in northeast Indiana who may have been sexually abused. We don't necessarily know if that's because there's been more abuse or the reporting is better. People are willing to speak up. Nationally, 42.2 percent of girls say they were raped before they turned 18, and almost 30 percent say they were first raped between the ages of 11 and 17. Mark.